The following is a short tape of rings and busy signals recorded by Evan Doorbell in 1971. It covers the main types of rings and busy signals used in the bell system and has a couple of independent rings as well. Of course, in those days, ring and busy tones were generated by large rotating mechanical devices in the basement of the central office. Though there were standard types of rings and busies, each tone plant, that is the machine that generates the rings and busies, had its own personality in those days. You could actually tell which office you were listening to. There would be little subtle differences from one to the next. The sound of the ring and the sounds in the background of the ring and the busy. So each central office's tone plant did have its own personality, and that made for a very interesting network, because everything did not sound the same. So here it is from 1971, the Ring and Busy tape. This is a tape of various rings, busy signals, and reorders from the North American continent. First, the main Western Electric rings. The following ring is called City Ring. It can be used on any type of switching equipment except ESS and is only found in large offices. Static is usually heard in between the ringtones. 516 599. That is the most common type of city ring. Another type of city ring sounds the same except that it has a smoother quality. 212 634. Here's the same type of ring with low tone in the background, 516489. The third type of city ring is higher pitched, but has the same low tone, 212344. And now, city busy signal. That is an example of a flashing busy signal. When busy signals were first invented, they always flashed answer supervision. They would actually go off hook, on hook, off hook, on hook in synchronization with the tone. This was used to signal the operator. By the time the 70s arrived, most busy signals no longer flashed, but occasionally you would find one that did, which is what this one is. The next type of ring apparently hasn't been named by phone researchers. We'll call it new CDO ring, since most new CDOs have this type of ring. It's also very common on directory assistance. 802-472. Here's the busy signal. The following ring is called CDO ring, or old CDO ring. There are many versions of it, but the version that's demonstrated here is considered standard CDO ring. Actually, that's not quite true, but this is very close to standard CDO ring. 516-788. Next is the busy signal. CDO stands for Community Dial Office which is what small rural central offices were called, community dial offices. In the Bell system, they were virtually all step-by-step, step, and almost all of them had either one of those two rings. The following ring is called crossbar 5 ring because it's rarely used on anything other than crossbar 5 offices. 516-485. Here's the busy signal. This is also found with low tone in the background, 516-374. All of 
of the rings so far mentioned can be double. 802, 476. Five one six three seven nine. Eight oh two four seven two. Five one six seven eight eight. Next is ESS ring. It's the only type of ring that's used on ESS. Eventually, all offices will have this ring. In an ESS 101 Centrix, the first ring is longer than all the others. Apparently, a city ring machine, whose model number is KS4286, list 20. Actually, that's KS5286, list 20, for the record. Is capable of making the following ringtone. It's called Murray Ring, and here it is from the Murray office, 305-685. Normal city ring is 420 hertz modulated by 40. This apparently is being made by modulating 500 hertz, which is high tone, by 40. The busy signal in that office sounds the same as regular city busy signal. The next ring is called old crossbar 5 ring. 516-931. Five one six nine two one. Five one six five nine three busy signal follows. Here's an unusual CDO ring eight oh two seven four eight. Seven four eight's busy signal is the same as regular CDO busy signal. Continental Telephone eight oh two five six three. General Telephone two one three two seven oh. Halifax 4A. This was on the L recording in New York 4. The timing was backwards. It was on for four seconds and off for two. I've heard that tone on collect and return in New York City. ESS reorder is 480 and 620. However, sometimes it's just 480. 212379 is an example. Nine oh one eight seven two. Now that last ring in busy uh, is where the busy signal tape ended. Interestingly, that is from Millington, Tennessee, where phone freak Joe Ingresia moved after he was busted in Memphis in 1971. That independent company, for whatever reason, offered him a job, and he lived there for a while and worked for them. That ring and busy is the automatic electric company's uh, tone plant that you would hear 
pretty much anywhere there was general telephone and in a lot of other independents too. That was a really typical automatic electric ring and busy tone. So that's as far as the ring and busy tape went. Of course, there were many, many more uh, varieties. But the main bell system types were covered pretty well in that.